Hi guys, gals. Today I want to look at the Samsung Galaxy S5 smartphone from Samsung. So let's uh, take this out of the box and look at it in a bit more detail. So here we have the Samsung Galaxy S5. S5 and I find that Samsung have vastly improved their packaging. So we have our quick start guide and paperwork. Put this over here. What else do we have? Power cable, charging, and we have our adapter, power adapter, and we have earbuds like uh, additional earbuds we have the ear earphones that's it so everything that you normally get in a Samsung with a Samsung device Let's put everything over here so let me just take this out of the packaging Alright, so that, and then uh, let's see what we have. We have the Samsung S5, as you can see, pretty decent size phone. Um, we have our camera at the back, and what we have here as well is a built in heart rate sensor. So I can actually put my thumb over this, and this can uh, tell me what my heart rate is. So now, isn't that cool? That's really cool. And we have a speaker right there. And sensors at the front. We have a front facing camera, earpiece, and home button. So let's turn it on and see what's on the inside. So here I have my um, Samsung Galaxy S5. I just put it on this cool little uh, tablet stand that I use for tablets and for shows and demonstrations. Anyway, so I'm going to power this on and um, unlock the screen. So right now this has an older version of Android, this would have come with uh, version 4.2.2 I believe. Um, but there is, um, at the time I'm making this video, there is um, Lollipop is available for the Samsung Galaxy S5 and that's Android 5.1.1. Uh, it would have come out um, in August last month. Uh, I want to show you um, some of the great features of this phone. I mean there's an S6 that's out today. Um, but this particular phone is still available and it is very very powerful this actually came out to um, uh, compete against the iPhone 5s uh, and when you compare specs for specs this phone actually outperforms the 5s um, just to give you an idea of what's inside of this phone um, it, it has um, uh, a built-in um, at the back here there's a built-in heart rate sensor so I can actually put my thumb on here and use the built-in um, uh, S uh, health app to to actually measure my heart rate but this this uh, comes with I mean just looking at the screen you can see that it's a very rich screen um, it's um, 1920 by 1080 which is high definition uh, 16 million colors it has a 5.1 inch screen as you can see here um, inside is a quad core processor running at 2.5 gigahertz I don't have any pictures in here uh, comes with 2 gigabytes of RAM built in um, and 16 uh, uh, gigabytes of uh, uh, ROM uh, built into the system as well uh, it can take a micro SD card which is very very good you can, put, it, it, you can take the cover off of this thing and you can put in a 16 gig, uh, 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 sorry, a micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes. Okay, so you can put up to 128 gigabytes inside of this phone. Um, you can also do 4K recording. Okay, now 4K recording, you're talking about 3,840 times 2,160 pixels. All right. Uh, the back of this phone, the camera is 16 megapixels. The 5S, I even believe that the iPhone 6 and the 6 uh, Plus only have 8 megapixel cameras at the back. Uh, they've just, just launched um, 
the iPhone 6 Plus and 6S versions, and I believe they have 12 megapixel cameras in the back. This is the Samsung Galaxy S5, and it came already with a 16 megapixel camera at the back. Okay, so this is this is something you should definitely take note of. And it has a two megapixel camera at the front. I find that most devices today, tablets, smartphones, it's kind of standard to have a two megapixel camera at the front because it's just enough for you to have video uh, video calls, right? So the, of course, it's a Samsung device, so it comes with S Voice, and there's also a gear manager app built in where you can manage your um, Samsung gear wearable um, watch. I will be doing a video shortly on that as well um, on some of the Samsung watches. So let me just show you where that app is. So they have, like these are all the pre-installed apps. You have your Play Store, your Photos, um, and uh, there's also uh, your Samsung apps here. So it's in here, when you connect to the network, you can actually download the, the health apps and, and whatnot. So, no, actually the S Health app is already pre-installed. Here it is. So it's here where you can, you know, measure your heart rate. You can actually sync this up to your your Samsung gear, which can actually take your, your heart rate measurements when you're running and your pedometer. You can actually track and you know, manage manage all of that, um, all that personal personal data. So it, here is where you put your name, male, female, weight, height, and all that. Um, so this is really, really good. This comes with a uh, 2800 um, milliampere hour battery. Uh, and it's the battery is removable, which is very good. Uh, you get about 12 hours of LTE usage, so when you're surfing the web, uh, you get about 12 hours of that. 13 hours if you're using a Wi-Fi connection. And if you're just watching video like YouTube, you get about 14 hours of continuous playback on this battery. Again, the cover is removable. And behind you, you have your battery, of course, and you put your SIM card in there, and you can put your microSD card. Um, so this is the yeah the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, the reason I'm doing this this video on this, although there's now the S6 and S6 Edge and whatnot, uh, this is a very very powerful phone, and it's the price is very very affordable. Um, and what I would love about this phone as well, um, there's this feature in the cameras called burst mode, where you can take I think up to 30 instant pictures, um, but with the press of a button, and that's good if you're catching like. Um, like a sports game or you know somebody playing football or you know anything like that but it's really really good to capture um, uh, like high high motion um, imagery um, in, in 30 shots so if I go here to mode this panorama of course um, let's see I think you know what let's go into let's go into settings so right now burst shots is on so it's on by default so the way it works, uh, let me just get an object just for the sake of it to see, show you how it works. So here I have a uh, card reader, uh, power supply and a tablet stand just to give you a point of reference with regards to me taking pictures. Um, so let's be cl put them closer together. She takes out of it. Let's just use these two. Okay, uh, just focus properly. Before you start taking the pictures. Okay, let's take a picture. So what I would do, it can take up to 30 at one time. So what I do, I actually hold down the pic hold down the the camera button. And that's 30 instant pictures right there. Let me show you again. I press press and hold down. So in a matter of like three seconds, it just took 60 pictures. Now that is a really, really cool feature. Um, and see how clear they are. Look at that. That's 30. So imagine if I had motion, I was watching a football game. Oops. I can, you know, capture every frame of a ball going into a net or, you know, uh, my son swimming or something like that, right? So that's, uh, you know, this is the S5. What is also good about this phone as well, there are a lot of large screen phones out there on the web now, uh, and not on the web, in the marketplace right now today, right? There are a lot of large screen phones out there, uh, you know, bursting the six six inch uh, uh, size, like you have the Samsung Mega, you have the iPhone 6 Plus and whatnot. This is a 5.1 inch screen, and like for ladies, this is actually a very comfortable size. 
Um, so if you're a, a lady and you like a, a large screen, but it's not too large, but large enough that you can, you know, take great pictures, um, and you're, you know, into physical fitness, so you have like a Samsung Gear Watch, you can sync that to this, and you can measure heart rate and you know, all your physical fitness can be tracked on the, you know, the health app. And even if you don't have a gear, you can use the sensor right here to actually measure your heart rate. The Samsung Galaxy S5 also comes with uh, a finger scanner um, right here. So you can um, use the actual screen right here to measure uh, your fingerprint, right? And as you can see by the graphic there, the, the um, animation, that is how it actually measures your, your fingerprint. So I'm actually going to measure mine right now by doing this. Every time I strike, I stroke down, it takes measurements of my fingerprint. I'm using my index finger, but if you're comfortable using your thumb, you may use that as well. And I then I can actually oh so that's done. It has my fingerprint, and I can you know use a put in a password. So it's just one two three four, just for the sake of arguments here. And done. Well, at least the letter one two three four D. How about that? One two three four D. And your fingerprint has been registered. So tap OK to go to select screen. So I can now say fingerprint. And the fingerprint lock is enabled, so let's test it out. So I'm going to turn the phone off. And then I'm going to turn it back on. And let's try the fingerprint. So let's try my thumb. Swipe the entire pad. No match. Let's try this finger. No match. Let's try my index finger. Now this should work. Recognized. Now isn't that cool? Right, so the Samsung Galaxy S5 also comes with a fingerprint scanner. It has 60 megapixel camera. It can do 4K video. It has the, some of the you know built-in health apps. It can you can connect this to your Samsung um, smartwatch, oh, and it's you know a very powerful quad processor, uh, super AMOLED screen, 60 million colors. You can have 128 gigabyte micro SD card, and um, you know it's just it's a really good phone. Um, and you know what's so good about it it's that it's an older model because there's now an s6 out but you know that means the price for these are even more affordable for you so uh and when it comes in really cool colors like white and whatnot so yeah a really good deal and it's still available on the market today i do have a link at the bottom where you can get this at a very very good price on amazon um so don't hesitate to go down there and check it out for yourself so that's the samsung galaxy s5 still alive and still kicking <laughs> Richie signing off. Bye.